Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and today we're going to be looking at uh, reviewing some of the important things that we should be focusing on when making our newt model that helps us to explain why our newt population is changing. And with that review, we're going to be focusing on five important things that are going to help us go back to our own model and make changes and fixes to improve the overall model itself. Now, as we go through these five things, we're also going to be looking at an example model here to help make sense of all of these big ideas. Please know that this model is very wrong, but it is a great example on how to utilize and focus on these five things. So first and foremost, let's look at the very first one. When making our model, we need to make sure that we show versus tell our ideas. Our model needs to focus on using these four things, arrows, text box, images, icons, and shapes to show what we're thinking rather than tell. And when we look at our model here, you'll see that is exactly what we're doing. We have some words here and we have some labels, but notice they don't do anything more than tell a specific idea or thought or label things in a very simple way. We don't have any big sentences or paragraphs. We don't have a large amount of text. It's mostly images, not a lot of text. So when we look at this idea, we need to show versus tell in our model. So when we go back to our model, ask ourselves, do I have more images, icons, arrows, shapes, or do I have more words? If we have more words, we need to try to take out those words and add images to show our ideas rather than tell. Second thing we need to look to utilize is arrows, so connect images and ideas. When we look at this, we have two sets of arrows. We have the arrows on the left side, we have the arrows on the right side. On the left side, we have our green newt, with some green arrows going from the newt to this poison ivy and from the poison ivy to this headstone, meaning our newt obviously had something to do with this, which led to it dying. This helps us to show the connection between these ideas and these images, along with our yellow newt, again, pointing to the poison ivy, and then that pointing to now what is the red newt, helping us to connect this idea that something's happening with our newts and this poison ivy to obviously connect it with this red newt idea. From there, we also have text box to label our ideas and label our images. So for example, we label a few things there. We labeled this as poison ivy, so we know exactly what that image is. We labeled this arrow as eat to show that this newt is eating this poison ivy, and we labeled this gray box here, which we have our two newts as, in as distant past newts. So we can kind of see labeling a bunch of things to help us connect all our ideas. Next, we need to make sure we use images and icons to show our ideas. We have a bunch of different images and icons here. We have images of our newts here. You obviously can use whatever images you want. We have icons, so for example, poison ivy and the headstone to represent death and to represent the actual image of the plant itself. You can use other images, whatever works for you. But last but not least, shapes. We should be using shapes to group, connect, and explain ideas. So for example, we group these two newts together to show, hey, they're a distant past newts. Now this is not the only way you can use shapes to connect and show ideas, similar to present day newts here. And obviously this would be a present day newt that is no longer alive. So your job at this point is to go through these five things and to help yourself by making changes based on not only what we explained here, but what we showed in the example model. Go through each of these bullet point by bullet point and ask yourself, do we use our model to show versus tell our ideas? Do I have arrows to connect images and ideas or do I just have images all over the place? Do I have text boxes to label ideas or do those text boxes um, not exist? Do I use good images and icons to show our ideas or do they not really make sense? And then obviously do I have shapes to group, connect and explain ideas? Go ahead and make your changes. If you have questions, reach out. Otherwise, good luck.